<laughs> Hello everyone, and welcome back down here to the Gamer's Den with me, your host, Jordan, your Master of Lore and Storyteller Extraordinaire. We are going to be moving past my uh, first attempt at a live Q&A last night, and we're going to roll right on along into the Bard Guide. And now we are taking a look at their six level spells today, and no, unfortunately, or maybe fortunately as the case may be, I will not be serenading you with some random song today. We are going to just roll right on along into this and get going here. So, to that end... First on our list here is Overwhelming Presence. It's a medium range spell, 100 feet and plus 10 feet per level for your range. You target one creature per level, no two of which can be more than 30 feet apart. It lasts one round per level, will save negates it, and spell resistance does apply here. Your presence overwhelms the senses and inspires awe causing uh, affected creatures to prostrate themselves before you as if you were a divine being. Flying creatures that cannot hover in place must land to bow before you, and these creatures are considered helpless for the duration of the spell, or until they save. Each round, they may attempt a full round save uh, that doesn't provoke attacks of opportunity when they do so. Uh, Recovered creatures will take 1d6 points of Wisdom Drain and are staggered for 1d4 rounds. And a creature that saves against this spell is only staggered for one round. So, there's a lot to really like with this spell. I mean, even if you're only able to catch, uh, say, five creatures in it and three of them are affected, well, that's three creatures that are now out of the fight for at least one round. Everybody else is staggered for that the entire... Uh, for that round, and then when they do eventually save, that Wisdom Drain makes them more vulnerable to other will saving throw effects. So any illusion spells, charms, things of that nature, will, they will be more vulnerable to and prone to succumbing to them. And then the fact that they're staggered for 1d4 rounds after they save, that just makes this really, really awesome. It's a good spell to have, good for keeping targets at range that you can keep pelting them with arrows, because doing uh, doing damage to them well they're considered helpless so you've got that free shot so it's easier to hit them and they save each round anyway so you may as well keep attacking them as much as you can or if you really need to start pin cushioning the targets that are still coming for you this helps buy you time and staggers your opponents out very very awesome to have but of course, it's not the only quality spell for Bard to have. Not only that, it's not the only spell that's fitting for Bards to have. The next on our list here is Waves of Ecstasy. It's a 30 foot cone shaped burst, lasts one round per level, will save for partial effect and spell resistance applies. Uh, you fire off a wave of pleasure so intense that all targets and range who succumb will falter. Creatures that are stunned for one round, and, uh, that fall, are stunned for one round and are staggered for the duration of the spell. Creatures that succeed are only staggered for the first round. So it's very. Yes, indeed. I am joined by both of my most adorable co hosts here. One is sleeping, the other is clearly awake and is showing off an animal companion she has found uh, a mighty moose. Moose are terrifying animals, by the way. Massive creatures, very aggressive, much more than some of you might expect. Anyways, where was I? Creatures that succeed are staggered for the first round. So this functions a bit like, uh, in, uh, like the previous spell, in that you can stagger your opponents and uh, disrupt their uh, ability to perform. But it's much shorter range. And the fact that it still has a partial effect makes it still a good selection to have there. Uh, something to consider for your daily spell list. Uh, this is something I would think of as like, uh, you use this as like, okay, I need to stun them and then get away from them. I need to move back away so that way I stay safe and the rest of the party can reform and deal with this threat in my face. So this lets you keep to your bow and your bardic performances. Um, and... Uh, yeah, so it's. I look at this as more of a defensive thing, although it is a great battlefield control on your part. Then we have Brilliant Inspiration. It's a close range spell, 25 feet per level, or 25 feet plus 5 feet every two levels, excuse me. 
it's, you can only affect one living target and it lasts one round of level. You telepathically give advice and encouragement to your target, allowing the target to roll 2d20 and take the best result on any attack roll, ability check, or skill roll check. So it works a lot like um, having advantage in 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons. The only difference is, though, a natural 20 will end the effect early. Thank you, little one. So, it's the only time you really don't want your your ally to roll a critical hit, but, you know, this is still a really solid spell, considering that, well, the odds of rolling a 20 are 1 in 20, so you figure you got, you'll get at least 5, 10 rolls out of it with uh, being able to roll twice before the effect ends. So, definitely a good one to have, especially, thank you, especially when you're dealing with a target that's particularly hard to hit, or dealing with a skill challenge where you really want them to succeed. It is purple. Good job. And the last spell on our list today is one that uh, mechanically isn't great, but I just really love the effect of. It's another one of these spells, and it's called Life of Crime. It's a close range spell, so you get that 25 feet plus 5 feet every two levels again, and again, one living creature. It's a permanent effect. Will save does negate and spell resistance applies, although there are some other effects to discuss here. You revert your target to their most base instincts. The target cannot provide benefit from, uh, provide or benefit from teamwork feats and the aid another action and cannot accept harmless magical effects from others because you sow an inherent distrust to them. The target moves by stealth when possible and reflexively tries to lie and deceive others to further its own agenda. Every hour it is conscious, the target must make a will save against the spell DC or behave as if affected by the crime wave spell for one round. Only a remove curse spell with a higher caster level, limited wish, wish, or miracle spell can remove this particular curse. Now, it's a pretty heavy duty curse to be laying on someone, especially for a six level spell. But uh, I, you're not going to get a lot of. It is a doggy. Yes. Ghost, another one of her familiars. She has has a unique ability to acquire many and make use of them. And make effective use of them in disrupting the actions of those around her. <laughs> but it's not a spell you're going to be using in combat. But in terms of story and gameplay, especially if you're dealing with any campaigns that uh, involve a lot of skill checks, story, RP, or intrigue, this is a great spell to have. This will really ruin an NPC's day pretty damn fast. Now, granted, a target that you're using six level spells on is probably going to be someone who has their own magical defenses in place, but, you know, that depends on the exact situation and um, w what in particular you're dealing with. And, you know, not all things are created equal and going over every conceivable scenario is both impossible and time consuming, so we're not going to worry about that so much. Suffice it to say, this is a great spell for roleplay and it's something that I see fitting really well with a lot of different bard builds. But, in terms of mechanical effectiveness, in terms of what we're going for with this archery build, it's not one that's really going to do a lot for you, especially in those combat situations. But no reason you can't switch this one in and out depending on the scenario because if you're not in combat well you have utility outside of combat and this spell has some great utility outside of combat so definitely keep this one in mind and there are plenty of other spells that the bard has access to from sixth level all the way up to the first level stuff this is just a sampling of some spells that are mechanically effective work well with the archery build uh, for the bard and you know, there's plenty more to choose from, however, and this is not the only viable build. These are not the only viable spells, so pick out what you like, or if you already have what you like, then hell, consider going on down there in the comments below. Let me know. I'm more than happy to engage in the discussion here. Uh, there's lots of creative uses that people can come up with, with for all of these spells. And if you enjoyed today's video, then hit the like button as well, or dislike if you did not enjoy it. And if you did, there are going to be a couple more videos popping up over this way that perhaps you'll enjoy. 
or if this hasn't been your first stop, this isn't the first video you've watched here, well, clearly something must be working out okay, so why not consider subscribing? Go on down there, hit the subscribe button, become a regular member here at the Gamer's Den. We'd certainly be happy to have you. But with that said, I've been your host, Jordan, your master of lore and storyteller extraordinaire. Thank you all so very much for your time, and you all have yourselves a good night.